Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a 2007 Chevy Impala, doing a transmission flush on it. First you're going to start off by loosening the 26 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom of the transmission from passenger side to driver side. You're just loosening them, not taking them all the way out. If you have a large pan, it'd be worth it. You're going to make a mess either way, as you can see all the transmission fluid running down. Like I said, you want to go from the passenger side to the driver side first, it just kind of directs that fluid. Next, you can see the bolts are loosened up, you have a good flow of transmission fluid. What's holding that gasket on is just years of pressure. If you take a small screwdriver or pry bar and pry down on the transmission pan, it should drop. Next, you're going to want to use a small pry bar or screwdriver to get the filter out. Be careful, obviously this is your inside of your transmission, so you can damage. So just pay attention to what you're doing and slowly work that filter out. Next, you're going to want to remove this plastic uh, slash rubber grommet. This holds your uh, filter into the transmission. I've been told that you can reuse them. Um, this one was damaged, so I'm going to replace it. The best way to get that out is with needle nose pliers, also a hammer and a screwdriver. You drive one of the sides in on that uh, grommet, and it'll come out. Obviously, you want to be as careful as you can, not damaging the metal around this grommet. As you can see now, the new filter has been installed. You just push that back into the port. After that, you're going to put your transmission pan back on. I would suggest getting the pre-fitted gasket. Um, you can reuse the old gasket if it is a hard gasket. Uh, paper gasket must be replaced. After that, you're going to reinstall your pan with your 26 10 millimeter bolts. Torque them down to 10 foot-pounds. Once you get your pan back on, you can go to the dipstick and start adding your transmission fluid. To my knowledge, uh, it is 7.4 quarts of transmission fluid for Chevys. Um, I added a bottle of Lucas into it, so just minus whatever your Lucas is out of that. Um, that Lucas is great stuff, especially for older transmissions and older vehicles. Once you're done adding all of your transmission fluid and Lucas, if you prefer, take it for a test drive, make sure it goes into gear get it up to operating temperature and check the dipstick for the fluid level. After that you should be good to go. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next job. Thanks.